10 Best Places to Visit in Eritrea Hello Desplorers! Welcome back to another informative video presented to you by Desplorer and thanks for watching. Travel has never been as easy as it is in the 21st century thanks to the Silicon Valley's little invention called the Internet. What makes it even more fabulous is the possibilities to first of all virtually visit any place in the world before booking that ticket for it. That is why at Desplorer, we will bring you the best of your possibilities. To ensure both your virtual and physical experience are the best by bringing you some of the best cities in Africa and the world. In this video, we shall take you into the eastern part of Africa and we shall shine the light on Eritrea, looking at the 10 best places to visit in Eritrea. Eritrea is a northeast African country on the Red Sea coast which shares borders with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Djibouti. Italian, Egyptian, and Turkish architecture are very abundant in the country especially in the capital city Asmara, which is known for its Italian colonial buildings, as well as Art Deco structures. This small country of roughly 6 million people is a multi-ethnic country with 9 distinct groups and influences from Abyssinia, Mediterranean, and Arab cultures. Basically untouched by development and tourism, this country offers beaches, reefs, archipelagos, culture, religion, archaeology, and natural beauty as well as the country's many secret places which are tucked away in several places in Eritrea. Hence, in this video, we shall be looking at the top 10 best places to visit in Eritrea. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. So without any further delay, here are the top 10 best places to visit in Eritrea. Number 10. Samnawi Bari National Park Semnawi Bari National Park is a wonderful park for those who enjoy nature unaffected by heavy tourist traffic, with many attractions which include a wide variety of fauna, flora, bird watching as the park houses many different rare species. The park which is well known to international and domestic tourists is also equipped to recreation centers at Megro, Mednahit and Sabor. Located within 21 km from Asmara, it is situated at the foothills of a mountain range and at an average height of 900 meters, is a popular tourist spot for spotting leopards, clip springers, bush bugs, and so on. Bird watches are not left out as this park is also a bird watcher paradise with numerous colorful and varied bird species. Number 9. Mountain Embasaira Embasaira is the highest mountain in Eritrea, which is 3,018 meters above sea level, situated in the southeastern part of Debop administrative region. For the lovers of thrill, Mount Embasoira is the best place to stop by and enjoy the serenity and beauty that comes with it. The mountain range is a part of the Eritrean highlands and one side lies to the Great Rift Valley, which finds its way through Eritrea and joins the Red Sea. For the hikers and those who enjoy trekking, you can access the mountain by its closest towns of Sanafe and Tisha to have the highland lifestyle in Eritrea. Number 8. Kohaito Kohaito is a major ancient city in what is now the Dubob region of Eritrea. It was a pre-Aksumite settlement that thrived during the Aksumite period. The city was settled before the Aksumite period and believed to be inhabited in as late as the 5th millennium BC. Kohaito is yet to be thoroughly excavated and researched. With ancient homes and columns, it is a prime example of the rich history to be found in Eritrea. And here you'll find ruins of Safra's Dam and King Saba's Palace which dates to the Aksumite and pre-Aksumite periods. Close to Embasoira, the country's highest peak, the site was first discovered in the 19th century and excavation began in the 1960s. It's wonderfully inspiring to consider what life was like that long ago as you explore the ruins. This is a perfect site for lovers of history and those fascinated by ancient times. Number 7. Red Sea Eritrea's numerous islands are considered to be one of the world's last untouched tropical paradises, but one thing that makes Eritrea even more fascinating is the Red Sea. Given the Red Sea is believed to be one of the most amazing large bodies of water on Earth, its presence in Eritrea solidifies the country's position as a sacred jewel of the Red Sea, with its pristine waters, abundant faunas spreading to 2,234 km, with 1,151 km of mainland. Being an untapped water body to explore, it is a paradise for scuba divers and snorkeling with an abundance in coral reefs, marine life, 
and wrecks. The Red Sea has been known to attract thousands of tourists worldwide, making Eritrea a wonder untouched. Number 6. The Nakheel Region The inland portion of the Nakheel located within Eritrea, which runs along the coast of the Red Sea for about 500 kilometers, known as the Danakil Depression, is considered to be the hottest place on Earth and a place you don't want to miss on a trip to Eritrea. Its property of being one of the hottest places on Earth has blessed the basin with a landscape often described as moon-like wonderful example of nature at work. It is believed that thousands of years ago, the desert was part of the Red Sea, when the Earth's crust collapsed and the ocean flooded in. The depression is known as Dalol in Eritrea, with lava flows and a scorching sun, which is also believed to be one of the lowest points on Earth's surface, having sunk over the years to about 400 feet below sea level. Visit this area to watch how the thin surface here oozes lava upward, which constantly changes the landscape, resulting in an area dotted with volcanic cones, isolated mountain groups, and deep valleys. Besides these marvels, enjoy the cultural lifestyle of the Afar tribe, who populate this region, mining the salt abundant in the large flats in the area. This is the perfect spot for the faint of heart, adventurers, and the landscape lovers to have the experience of their lives. Number 5. Imperial Palace One thing that makes the harbors of Masawa even more calling than its natural features is the Imperial Palace. The original building dates back to the 16th century, constructed by a Turk named Ozdemi Pasha, but the current building was built in the 19th century by Werner Muzinga, used by Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie. A once magnificent building, it is now in ruins due to the war between the Eritrea and Ethiopia in the 90s. The place is still a great place to witness history in its many manifestations. Once built for the Turks, then remade for a Swiss adventurer and destroyed in a war. Number 4. Dalak Islands Dalak Islands, aptly an archipelago, host a number of places which can be utilized for making a pleasurable vacation. The Dalak archipelago consists of 126 islands, with only four of them being permanently inhabited. Dalak Kabiris, the largest of the four inhabited islands, followed by Nora and Dohol. Dala Kabir, the largest island of the lot, is popular for pearl fishing. Home to the most of the Eritrean population, in an ideal place for water sports activities, such as scuba diving. Aside the lush green coastline of Dalak and its coral reefs submerged in deep waters, these magnificent islands have been well known ever since the Roman times for their pearls. Some of the attractions here include diverse birds of the sea and a rich marine life which can be seen by boats, scuba diving, and snorkeling. Turtles, dolphins, dugongs, sharks, and different invertebrates can be seen here too. Due to the underdeveloped tourism industry, expect to witness nature in a pristine state. Number 3. The Dalek Marine National Park Surrounded by the Red Sea and located in the Dalek Archipelago, the Dalek Marine National Park is a dense ecosystem largely undisturbed by man. The place is rich in flora and fauna and houses exotic fish and aquatic wildlife along with being a fantastic spot for bird nesting, which has made it one of the most visited places to experience nature in the truest form. Besides the turtles, dolphins, manta rays and over 300 species of fish, the underwater volcanoes here have made incredible pumice stone formations and the many shipwrecks around the islands have made for one of the most incredible diving experiences you'll like to have. Be on the lookout for the Dugon Dugon, the unique marine mammals believed to be the origin of the mermaid myth. Number 2. Masawa If you are looking for an experience of fun, excitement, and thrills, the city of Masawa is the best best stop for you. Just 100 kilometers from Asmara, it's so much fun to stroll through the streets and alleys, discovering all the small porticos, arcades, and whitewashed buildings tucked at every corner. Much of the 1500 years old city was destroyed in the war for independence, and restoration is still going on. Masawa is home to some of the best beaches in Africa, where the Gorgasum Beach is the most popular and always lively towards the end of the day. With such diverse number of cultures within the city, one can witness their influence in the cultural and architectural aspects of the city. Some sites to consider in the city include the Shrine of Sahaba, 
the 15th century mosque, houses built of coral, Ottoman buildings, among many others. It served as the capital of the Italian colony of Eritrea till 1897, when it was moved to Asmara. Number 1. Asmara Speaking of Asmara, it is the capital of Eritrea, where the first things you notice as you visit it are the lovely walking neighborhoods, street cafes with delicious Italian coffee, dozens of pastry shops, and a slow pace about town. In short, you'll feel like you've just arrived at a small village somewhere in Italy. Asmara is one of the most pleasant cities that you're likely to visit in Africa. You'll also find the most concentrated collection of modernist architecture in the world, as most of the historic area has remained untouched since its conception in the 1930s, when Mussolini had his eye on Ethiopia. Combine the history, architecture, friendly locals, and 8 months of sunshine each year, you'll place Asmara as the top of your list of visit destinations in Africa. There you have it, this Paris, those were the 10 best places to visit in Eritrea. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, so well to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Also give this video a very big fat thumbs up.